Well, we are on the tail end of a 13 and a half hour ride from Virginia to Maine. Congratulations, Bill. Tim, you don't know what this is to me. Come on in, back to water's fast! <laughs> Come on with us, heading out from dawn to dusk. Get them in your sights and let it fly. Amped up to close the deal and a pocket full of tax fulfilling. One thing I could say keeps me alive. Just killing time. Just Killing Time is brought to you by Deer Haven, True Lock, The Heater Body Suit, Seymour Systems, Daniel Boone Log Homes, The ATV Backpacker, Haviland Knives, Rescue One CDS, Hunting Sports Plus, Crossman, Muddy Feet Graphics, and Game Sled. Thanks for tuning in to Just Killing Time this week. We got a lot of action in store for you. Yep, we got a lot of footage and a short time to show it to you, so let's get right into the action. Well, we are on the tail end of a 13 and a half hour ride from Virginia to Maine. We're heading up to hunt with Maine Woodsman, Fall Black Bear, Buck and I, Mark Aldridge is with us. We're gonna do our best to put the hammer down on a couple mature Fall Black Bear. He's down, loaded up and trucking. Are we going to do what they say can't be done? After stopping to get our licenses, we hit it into camp just in time to meet the guys and sit down for Tim's orientation. I'd like to welcome you all uh, to camp this week. Looks like we got a good group. I'd like to go over a few uh, things just to let you know where we stand. Uh, one of the number one rules that I have is uh, no alcohol before the hunt. Um, I don't want to have an excuse of, well, I just had one beer for lunch or something like that. Uh, I don't want anything to do with alcohol afterwards. I don't care what you guys do. Um, we're here to hunt, and, and um, that's the way I like to keep it. I've never had no problems in the past, and um, I'm sure I'm not going to have a problem with this group here either. You guys seem like a bunch of uh, good guys and serious hunters. Uh, I like to be able to talk to you guys as far as you know what to expect out there on stand. It gets a chance for you guys to talk to me and ask questions what you might expect. An average bear for a six-day or a five-day hunt for me would be you know your 120 to 150 pound bear. That's you know that's going to be your average bear. I mean we've killed them up to you know 320 pounds before, and uh, they're out there. But it's just like anything. I mean you're, you're only here for a while, and it's up to you. I mean if you want to shoot one that's even you know what an 80 pounder or a 90 pounder, that's your right. Don't there's nothing wrong with that. I mean guys come to camp, they want to shoot a bear. That's up to them. A lot of times. Bears are hard to judge, you know, you come in and you think the way they're acting, that wow, that thing's a huge bear. And you get it back to camp, it's like, wow, that weren't as big as I thought it was. Hey, no big deal. You're here to, here to hunt, you bought a license, the state of Maine allows you to shoot a bear. Doesn't matter what size it is. After an excellent dinner of fresh lobster, we all settled around the campfire to have some fellowship and anticipate the next morning's hunt. All I can say, Buck, is I'm ready to get into some hunting action. Stick around, folks. When we return, the hunt begins. This segment of Just Killing Time is brought to you by Haviland Knives. Get a Seymour sight system and see what you have been missing. Okay. Experience the magnificent whitetail hunting of Western Kentucky with Deer Haven Trophy Bucks. It's 
that's another jelly head for a true lock. With a true lock jump tube, you're truly locked and loaded. The heater body suit is a one garment solution for staying warm on stand. Our warranty is buy it, wear it. If you get cold, we'll give you your money back. No one in the clothing industry has such a warranty or dares to have such a warranty. This segment of Just Killing Time is brought to you by Rescue One CDS. Folks, we're getting right into the stand. Well, I should say the ground blind with Max. He's on his first bear hunt. Let's get right in the action, see what happens on Max's first evening out. Hey, I ain't vertically challenged, but I'm elevation shy. <laughs> <laughs> we are in Maine with Maine Woodsman's Guide Service, folks. I'm on black bear hunt, a fall black bear hunt. I have never killed a black bear. I got daddy's 300 Savage Model 99 with me. He always wanted to kill a bear with it. I'm gonna do my best to make that happen. It's tight, we're on the ground. I tell you, these bear will come right in on top of me. I just can't wait, man, this is exciting. One thing about it, the bait's so close. If I miss with a rifle, Buck will never let me live it down. Y'all stick around, it ought to be exciting. I can't manage it, it's beautiful. Wait till you see this. Now, as you can see, I didn't have very long to wait. Being early in the evening, I decided to hold off on this bear and see what else might show up at the bait. Now y'all might remember I mentioned fresh lobster from the evening before for dinner. Well guess what Tim used to help entice this bear into the bait. With darkness closing in, I decided that if I got a shot opportunity on this bear, I was going to take it. What do you think about that, folks? He came in, I sized him up. He's not the biggest bear up here, but I can tell you, I had to wait, he finally gave me a shot. I am tickled to death with that bear. I haven't went over and checked him out yet, but I can tell you my first ever black bear. Folks were up here with Maine Woodsman, Tim and his son Ryan. They run a, a first class operation. Congratulations, Maps, on your first bear. Thank you, Tim, I appreciate it, man. And it, folks, this is my first bear. And Tim, you know, we've, we've had a great time up here already. It's just the first day up here at Maine Woodsman. You, you know, you got such a great facility. And all I can say, folks, you saw it in the footage, how many, services guide services do you know the outfitter feeds his bear lobster <laughs> this could be some fine eating my first black bear folks i had daddy's model 99 savage daddy was a fanatical about black bears the last 10 years of his life he only got to kill one this is the first black bear this gun's ever killed it's the first black bear I ever killed and i'm really uh, i'm really tickled with it tim I, I couldn't be happy man one of the other clients killed a nice bear this evening i mean you can't ask for anything better than we've had i appreciate you coming here help me get him out but that was my first black bear. He wasn't the biggest bear in the woods. Congratulations, man. To take him with Daddy's 99, you know, Daddy was a bear fanatic. He just never got to kill but one. And to do it with his rifle, that's pretty cool. Well, it's a good thing you had the game sled there, and especially when we had to go help Robert get that big bear he killed that's out. That's right. That game sled come in handy, folks. Exactly. Same night, another client killed a 200-pound-plus bear. Buck and I, we went with the game sled to help him get it out. Watch this as we head out to commercial. We'll be back in just a moment. This is type of bear somebody wants to get right here when they come up here. Uh, I'm glad Maine Woodsman Guide Service could provide you the chance to be able to get this, this bear. Now what you're seeing is a product called the Game Sled. You'll be seeing more of it here on Just Killing Time. This segment of Just Killing Time is brought to you by Hunting Sports Plus. Deer Haven. Deer Haven. Deer Haven. Deer Haven. Deer Haven. Deer Haven, Deer Haven trophy bugs. 
is 3,500 acres of the best whitetail habitat you'll see in North America. We're a mile and a half from Illinois and a mile from Missouri, right on the Ohio and the Mississippi River. We've got about 500 acres of row crop, rotation with corn and beans, and the rest is all ideal deer habitat, semi-mature forest, thick overgrown cutovers, swamps, creek bottoms, beautiful country. Folks, Western Kentucky is a sleeper state for big bucks. That's why the crews of Just Killing Time head west each fall to see Brett Wilson out at Deer Haven. Intense quality deer management combined with great habitat plus low hunting pressure equal a great hunting experience. The high hunter success rates and the size of the deer taken are proof it's worth the trip. Check my website, DeerHavenTrophyBuck.com. Look at some of the fine trophies we've taken over the past year. And give me a call at 270-334-3748. I'm Brett Wilson. Look forward to meeting you. If I haven't seen you already, then you're missing out on a good trip. After your hunt, then you'll understand why everybody is saying, Deer Haven. Deer Haven. Deer Haven. Deer Haven. Deer Haven. This segment of Just Killing Time is brought to you by Crossman and Game Sled. Welcome back, folks. Hey, we got a lot of action in store for you, so let's climb right back in the stand with Mark Aldridge. See what happens. Let's see if Tim and Maine Woodsman Guide Service can keep the streak alive. Well, folks, we're here with Maine Woodsman Guide Services hunting black bear over bait. A little warm today. It's the end of August, actually the last day of August. Um, we're down here, we'll try to get on some black bear. We've already had two killed in camp just yesterday. Open season was yesterday. So it's about 95 degrees out here. It's a little warm for this time of year, but obviously Tim knows what he's doing here because the bears are hitting the bait. Now about an hour after climbing into the stand, Mark catches movement way out to his right. And finally, this old rascal here eases into the bait. again down here with Maine Woodsman. I'm so nervous I can't even talk. Anyway, we're down here in Maine Woodsman's Guide Service. I just shot a nice black bear. I saw him coming in off camera probably for the past 10 minutes. So I waited till he come in. Patience is a little skittish. I tried to get him on camera. He come, come in, come out. It was just one of those things where uh I had to just give him a little bit of time. And when he come in, I didn't want to give him a chance of leaving. It is 20 degrees hotter than it's supposed to be this time of the year. It's the last day in August. This is a third bear down in two days. Haven't even talked to the other clients yet to see what they're doing. I'm sure they're on great bear. This one came in, gave us a good shot. This kind of weather, this kind of bush out here is real thick. You kind of take what you can get, but he's got plenty of bear. I encourage you to come up and check it out. Tell you what, Max, I don't know what Mark had in that muzzleloader, but boy, he rolled that bear, didn't he? He dropped him like a bad habit. That was a heart shot plus, plus, plus. Man. Hey, not only did Mark kill, but Bill killed that gargantuan of a oh, bear. Oh, that monster. 400 plus pound, folks. And we went over and helped him recover. Everybody went over and helped him <laughs> yeah. recover this bear. It took us all to get him out. Game sleds, everything you can imagine, we used it to get this bear out of the woods. Y'all watch this footage, folks. We'll be back in just a moment. Congratulations, Bill. Tim, you don't know what this is to me. I, I waited. I let seven bears in Canada go because they weren't big enough, and this guy showed up and thought I missed them, which almost, I'm having a heart attack now, but we ain't going to worry <laughs> about that. See, I told you you'd be seeing more of the game sled. I can tell you one thing. 
It sure is nice to have one on hand when you got a 400 pound bear to get out of the woods. Congratulations, Bill. When you choose a Daniel Boone Log Home, not only will we give you this free UTV to get around your job site, but you also get our largest renewable resource, logs. That's about as green as you can get. Daniel Boone Log Homes have all of life's modern amenities. Custom cabinets, hardwood floors, granite countertops, architectural services, on-site consultation, and a lifetime warranty. Your dream is our passion. With over 60 years of log home expertise, we still do things the old-fashioned way. American-made, honest value. Daniel Boone Log Homes. Introducing the new ATV Backpacker Cart. A wonderful innovation with a million uses. It stores neatly behind your ATV or UTV and can be quickly deployed. Simply pull the spring-loaded pins to lower the bid to the ground, roll your load onto the cart, use the lever arms to lift the load, snapping the pins back in place, and you're gone. Visit our website and order yours today. Welcome back to the show, folks. Now it's Buck's turn to see if he can tag a bear up at Maine Woodsman Guide Service. Yeah, it's me in a stand with bow in hand. Let's get right into the action. We're up here in Maine, up here with Tim Neckers and his son Ryan, up here at the Maine Woodsman. i tell you what, it's the hottest it's probably been since Tim can remember bear hunting. They set a record yesterday, 97 degrees in Maine at the end of August. It's supposed to be 100 today and it ain't far off. Tell you how hot it is. We went swimming today in a lake. Tim said he's never went swimming with his bear hunters before, so it doesn't matter. The bear's on their feet. Mark Key tagged yesterday. Max he tagged the first day. Two of the other clients have tagged. So we got seven hunters in camp, four bear down, and we passed on a small bear last night here at this bait because me and Mark sat here the first day, and we know it's a bigger bear using here. We heard him. After three days of close but no cigar, two hours into the hunt, I believe old Buck has finally got this bear dead to rights. Congratulations, Buck. Hey, man, Ryan, I appreciate it, man. You and your dad, Tim, you guys have a class act up here. And what, what can we say? We've been here four days and six bears on the ground. Y'all killed a 400-pounder last night. This one kind of slipped by me and Mark last evening, you know, just wouldn't wouldn't give us a shot. But exactly. this evening, 
we wasn't wasting any time, boy. And that fire knock, it lit up like Carol says, a tail light, man. It was awesome. Pretty bear, probably, you know, 150 pound class bear. I'm just tickled to death. I just thank the good Lord that, you know, I'm able to get out and do this and you guys let us come up here, man. And Max, Max and Mark scored earlier in the week. I'm always the last one, it seems like. It's yeah. on your birthday, too. Oh, yeah, man, the birthday bear. I, I, I'm just, again, we're up here in Maine with uh, the Maine Woodsman Guide Service and Tim, Tim Nickerson and his son Ryan here. Man, they put us on the bear. We got seven of us in camp and we've got six bear on the ground in four days and I don't know anybody in the country that could do any better job than that. Now let's watch as old buck shows us how handy the game sled can be. If you would like to experience the fantastic hunting at Maine Woodsman Guide Service, call Tim Nickerson at area code 207-567-3630 or on the web at mainwoodsman.com. Also on our website at jkttv.com. Hey, brother. Good stick on that bear. Hey, man. A birthday bear, no Birthday bear. I love it getting something up close like that with that stick and string, you did, you man. You did good. I'm proud of Tim, you, man. Tim up there in Maine Woodman Guide Service, he put us on the bear. It was what mid to upper nineties, record temps yeah, all week. Record and temperatures. How many clients we have in camp? How many? It kills? was seven clients, folks. I'm holding up five, five, seven clients, and six of us tagged bear. That's extraordinary. If you ever want to go up and hunt black bear in the fall in Maine, you have to check out Tim Nickerson Maine Woodsman Guide Service. I don't he knows any, what he's doing. I don't know any place else in the country that could got anybody any more on bear than that. Nope. Hey, next week. Guess where we're heading? We're going to Cedar No Lodge, yeah, aren't we? Our old buddy Hayward Simmons. Folks, as we leave you, take a look at these scenes from next week's show. We're down here in the low country of South Carolina. We're down here hunting with Hayward and Donna Simmons of Cedar No Hunting Lodge. Hayward, thank you, my friend. My Folks, pleasure. Cedar No Lodge, Hayward Simmons. We're just killing time down here at Cedar No Hunting Lodge. You'll be sure and check them out down here in the low country of South Carolina. Just Killing Time is brought to you by Deer Haven, True Lock, The Heater Body Suit, Seymour Systems, Daniel Boone Log Homes, The ATV Backpacker, Haviland Knives, Rescue One CDS, Hunting Sports Plus, Crossman, Muddy Feet Graphics, and Game Sled. might show up at debate. Now y'all might remember, I mentioned fresh lobster from the evening before for dinner. Well, guess what Tim used to help entice this bear into the bait. With darkness closing in, I decided that if I got a shot opportunity on this bear, I was going to take it. What do you think about that, folks? He came in, I sized him up. He's not the biggest bear up here, but I can tell you, I had to wait, he finally gave me a shot. I am tickled to death with that bear. I haven't went over and checked him out yet, but I can tell you my first ever black bear. Folks were up here with Maine Woodsman, Tim and his son Ryan. They run a, a first class operation. Congratulations, Maps, on your first bear. Thank you, Tim, I appreciate it, man. And it, folks, this is my first bear. And Tim, you know, we've, we've had a great time up here already. It's just the first day up here at Maine Woodsman. You, you know, you got such a great facility. And all I can say, folks, you saw it in the footage, how many, services guide services do you know the outfitter feeds his bear lobster this could be some fine eating my first black bear folks i had daddy's model 99 savage 
Daddy was a fanatical about black bears the last 10 years of his life. He only got to kill one. This is the first black bear this gun's ever killed. It's the first black bear I ever killed. And I'm really, uh, I'm really tickled with it, Tim. I, I couldn't be happy, man. One of the other clients killed a nice bear this evening. I mean, a bear that's up to them. A lot of times, bears are hard to judge. You know, you come in and you think the way they're acting, that, wow, that thing's a huge bear. And you get it back to camp, it's like, wow, that weren't as big as I thought it was. Hey, no big deal. You're here to, here to hunt, you bought a license. The state of Maine allows you to shoot a bear. Doesn't matter what size it is. After an excellent dinner of fresh lobster, we all settled around the campfire to have some fellowship and anticipate the next morning's hunt. All I can say, Buck, is I'm ready to get into some hunting action. Stick around, folks. When we return, the hunt begins. This segment of Just Killing Time is brought to you by Haviland Knives. Get a Seymour sight system and see what you have been missing. Experience the magnificent whitetail hunting of Western Kentucky with Deerhaven Trophy Bucks. It's another jelly head for a true lock. With a true lock chub tube, you're truly locked and loaded. The heater bodysuit is a one garment solution for staying warm on stand. Our warranty is buy it, wear it, if you get cold, we'll give you your money back. No one in the clothing industry has such a warranty or dares to have such a warranty. This segment of Just Killing Time is brought to you by Rescue One CDS. Folks, we're getting right into the stand, well I should say, the ground blind with Max. He's on his first bear hunt. Let's get right in the action, see what happens on Max's first evening out. Hey, I ain't vertically challenged, but I'm elevation shy. <laughs> yeah. We are in Maine with Maine Woodsman's Guide Service, folks. I'm on black bear hunt, fall black bear hunt. I have never killed a black bear. I got daddy's 300 Savage Model 99 with me. He always wanted to kill a bear with it. I'm gonna do my best to make that happen. It's tight, we're on the ground. I tell you, these bear will come right in on top of me. I just can't wait, man, this is exciting. One thing about it, the bait's so close. If I miss with a rifle, Buck will never let me live it down. Y'all stick around, it ought to be exciting. I can't, man, it's beautiful. Wait till you see this. Now, as you can see, I didn't have very long to wait. Being early in the evening, I decided to hold off on this bear and see what else into the action. Well, we are on the tail end of a 13 and a half hour ride from Virginia to Maine. We're heading up to hunt with Maine Woodsman, Fall Black Bear, Buck and I, Mark Aldridge is with us. We're gonna do our best to put the hammer down on a couple mature Fall Black Bear. He's after stopping to get our licenses, we hit it into camp just in time to meet the guys and set down for Tim's orientation. I'd like to welcome you all uh, to camp this week. Looks like we've got a good group. I like to go over a few uh, things just to let you know where we stand. Uh, one of the number one rules that I have is uh, no alcohol before the hunt. Um, I don't want to have an excuse of, well, I just had one beer for lunch or something like that. Uh, I don't want anything to do with alcohol afterwards. I don't care what you guys do. Um, we're here to hunt and 
and um, that's the way I like to keep it. I've never had no problems in the past, and um, I'm sure I'm not going to have a problem with this group here either. You guys seem like a bunch of uh, good guys and serious hunters. Uh, I like to be able to talk to you guys as far as you know what to expect out there on stand. I get a chance for you guys to talk to me and ask questions what you might expect. An average bear for a six day or a five day hunt for me would be you know your 120 to 150 pound bear. That's you know that's going to be your average bear. I mean we've killed them up to you know 320 pounds before, and uh, they're out there. But it's just like anything. I mean you're, you're only here for a while and it's up to you. I mean, if you want to shoot one that's even, you know, what, an 80 pounder or a 90 pounder, that's your right. Don't, there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, guys come to camp, they want to shoot. He's well, we are on the tail end of a 13 and a half hour ride from Virginia to Maine. Congratulations, Bill. Tim, you don't know what this is to me. Grab your gear and come on with us Heading out from dawn to dusk Get them in your sights and let it fly Amped up to close the deal And a pocket full of tags fulfilling One thing I can say keeps me alive Just killing time Just Killing Time is brought to you by Deer Haven, True Lock, The Heater Body Suit, Seymour Systems, Daniel Boone Log Homes, The ATV Backpacker, Haviland Knives, Rescue One CDS, Hunting Sports Plus, Crossman, Muddy Feet Graphics, and Game Sled. Thanks for tuning in to Just Killing Time this week. We got a lot of action in store for you. Yep, we got a lot of footage and a short time to show it to you, so let's get right